we found that the brain has two different functional states. One state is when we are awake and aware of our surroundings, and another state is when we are asleep. The difference being that when we are awake, the brain cells are working very hard at processing all the information about our surroundings, whereas during sleep, really work very, very hard on removing all the waste that build up when we are awake. We all sleep about eight hours every day, and we all wonder why do we need to do that. Even the old Greek philosophers wondered, why do we need to sleep? And if you look at animals, you'd find that even worms and mice sleep for a long time every day. So that suggests that sleep has a very basic function, and it's needed. If you keep animal awake, they would eventually die. So mice would die if you keep them awake for several weeks. They would eventually die, and we really don't know why. So the evidence is that sleep serves a basic biological function. And our study, I believe, pinpoint that by showing, yes, sleep is absolutely essential for removal of toxic waste product from the active brain. The lymphatic system functions very much like the garbage removal, and that is basically the function of the lymphatic system. So that works uh, such that we have influx of cerebrospinal fluid along the artery getting into the brain. That fluid is propelled to the brain in between the brain cell, where it literally flushes toxic waste product away. The dirty fluid collects around the veins, and will, after it uh, dumps into the lymph vessel, be delivered to the liver, that is our big recycling plane, where protein like beta amyloid and other toxic waste products can be degraded and recycled. We infused the fluorescent dye into the cerebral spinal fluid, which we called CSF. Um, so from this technique, we can see the CSF um, flow through into the brain. In the sleeping mice, we found the CSF flush into the brain very quickly and broadly. But in the awake brain, the CSF just uh, barely uh, floating. This finding uh, raised the uh, implication that the awake brain has more resistance to the CSF in flux. So um, this leads to the thinking that probably the parts of the CSF flow is smaller in the awake brain. Surprisingly, we found that the spaces between the two cells increased around 60% from awake state to the sleep state. Theoretically, the bigger space caused more influx, which will make the clearance uh, more efficiently. So our study suggests that we need to sleep because we have a macroscopic cleaning system that removes many of the toxic waste products from the brain.